as with the majority of things in life, there are exceptions to the rules of oxidation stays. Um, you need to learn these exceptions as well as learning how to apply the rules properly. So here they are. Here are our rules for assigning oxidation states of things. And you will notice that I have put in here that oxygen nearly always has an oxidation state of minus two, and hydrogen nearly always has an oxidation state of plus one. Here I'm going to talk you through the examples and explain the examples to you. For you to be able to understand the examples, you need to understand what oxidation states are really telling us. If something has an oxidation state of minus one, it has gained an electron. If something has an oxidation state of plus two, then it has lost two electrons. When oxygen is in a compound with itself, neither um, element really has a stronger pull than one or the other over these electrons in the middle. So they are truly sharing them. This is a, a pure or a true covalent bond because the electrons are not going to be shifted to one side or the other. So because of this, we can say that when oxygen is combined with itself, it is going to have an oxidation state of zero. In water, because oxygen is more electronegative, these electrons are not going to be hanging around in the middle. They are going to be shifted over this way. So oxygen has effectively gained two electrons and hydrogen has lost one. It might be more accurate to draw it with a bit of space in between here, because here it looks like the oxygen and the hydrogen are sharing the electron equally. They are not sharing electrons equally. These electrons are much more preferential towards the oxygen than they are towards the hydrogen, which is why, even though it's covalent bonds and they are sharing them, we can say that oxygen has gained two electrons and hydrogen has lost an electron. And in a peroxide, the electrons in the middle that oxygen is sharing with each other, neither oxygen has more of a pill than the other one over it. So they are truly sharing them. So we can't say it has gained an electron, we can't say it has lost an electron. It has, however, gained this one electron here from the hydrogen and each oxygen has gained one electron from the hydrogen. So oxygens in peroxide have an oxidation state of minus one because in effect they've only gained one electron. So we can say that oxygen has minus one and there are two of them, so overall that is going to be minus two oxidation state contributed by them. Hydrogen is plus one and there are two of them, so overall that is going to be plus two, coming up as zero charge overall. Another exception involving oxygen is that when oxygen is combined with fluorine, it does not have a minus two oxidation state. When oxygen is combined with fluorine, fluorine is so much more electronegative than oxygen, it's going to pull this electron away. So again, drawing them equidistance from the electrons is a bit of a false impression. It would be more accurate, but incredibly odd, to draw it like this, with the fluorine separated, clearly showing that they have taken the electron away from the oxygen because they are so much more electronegative. Now, oxygen has lost electrons in this case. It has lost two electrons, meaning it is going to be the one that has the plus two oxidation state. Fluorine has gained one electron, and there are two of them, so that is going to be a minus two oxidation state coming from the fluorine there. And the last example I'm going to talk to you about are when hydrogen is in a metal hydride. In ionic bonding from metal hydride, the outermost electron of sodium is going to be lost and go to whatever it is available to pick it up. Then we are going to be left with sodium as a positive charge and hydrogen, you see hydrogen there, has picked up an electron. So it now has its full outer shell, it's happy, but hydrogen now has a minus charge. And if we remember, the oxidation state of an iron is the same as its charge. So the oxidation state of hydrogen here is going to be minus one and the oxidation state on sodium is going to be plus one. Because if we think about it, sodium has lost its electron and hydrogen has gained that extra electron. So in this case, it is going to be minus one. 